Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am the real Brian Clays Gibbs. And right now, we hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. I was once the problem. Now, what I'm seeking to do, how do I become part of the solution? How do I right my wrong? How do I try to reach out to as many lost as possible to try to prevent them from going down that wrong, wrong road? Letting them know right now, we we'll stop making that multi-billion dollar prison system your permanent address because crime doesn't pay. Only thing come fast, trouble, easy to get into, hard to get out. Hey, today what I'm talking about is this. Here it is recently, you know, Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols, you know, former drug lord, was released after serving almost 38 years. Okay, now, after 38 years and a half, he is being released to the state of Florida because he had to serve 10 years with the state of Florida for a crime, a uh, stolen car ring that he was part of. So now he got to serve that time, but he's 64. He got the opportunity. If he was a reform, I'm saying reform criminal, if he would have not committed that crime, guess what? At 64, he would have been walking out as a free man. He would have been tongue kissing freedom in the mouth. But now what happened? He got to go to Florida and finish off that bit down there. But sit back and think about it. His right hand man, Howard Pappy Mason. How do you think Pappy feel? Pappy's probably right now is once he get the word that Fat Cat got the opportunity to walk out that door. And right now he would have walked out last Friday, February 17, 2023, if he didn't court that case. Now you sit back a person, my right hand man, going home, and I still got life. You know what? Is that fear? Is it right? Is it wrong? Who am I? But once again, what you think Pappy's going through? I gave this man my blood, my sweat, my tear. I was more loyal and dedicated to him and his cause more than I was to myself, to my family. Now he get to walk out the door and I still got natural life. Is it fear? Folks, listen, man. Here it is. When you look at it, man, stop the nonsense. Stop feeling that you got to be loyal to a gang. You got to be loyal and dedicated to the street. You got to be loyal and dedicated to people that's not loyal and dedicated to you. Because that's the situation right there. Even when everything went on, you know, even with this whole situation, despite Cat didn't have nothing to do with NYPD rookie police officer Edward Burns' death, he didn't have nothing to do with it. And once again, but because he was the head of the crew, guess what? He got partial blame for that. And even with that being said, once again, Pappy is being utilized as a sacrifice lamb because Cat felt Pappy brung his whole crew down. Pappy, you know, based upon that rookie police officer being executed, guess what happened? Everybody went down. We all got arrested. August 11th, 1988, Operation Horse Collar. Right now, they pick up Cat Mother. They pick up Pappy Mother. They pick up so many different people that's ridiculous. They brought Cat and Pap down from doing a state bid. And once again, they prosecute us all. And you know what? What happened? You know, right now, when that pressure hit, when, when the pipes start busting, and right now, where's Cat made a deal? And what he did was he made a deal in the hopes that one day he would be able to walk out as a free man. The opportunity presented itself. Right now, the opportunity happened last Friday in Eastern District New York courtroom. It happened. He was released from his federal sentence of 40 years. Now, if he didn't commit a crime, if he was involved, if he was really rehabilitated, and, you know, here it is, he's fat cat. So the bottom line, being that he's fat cat, he refused, even in his bid, and he started running out all his money, he refused to be broke cat. So being that he refused to be broke cat, the hustle still exists. I'm gonna hustle until the day I die. I'm always gonna find a way to make money. So that's why when that opportunity came along for him to get involved with that stolen car ring, and from my understanding, they made millions off it. But once again, what happened? People get busted. People start making deals. From my understanding, his own son made a deal. You know, so Cat had to plead guilty. Him and White Boy Rick, they made this deal from Florida Witness Protection. Imagine that. Imagine that. But once again, 
Ross again. He got to go down there two, eight and a half more years. So you figure right now is if he don't get no other remedy or other break, he'll be, what, 72 years old by the time he get the opportunity to walk out. But at least he getting the chance to walk out on his own. Pappy don't have that same opportunity. That opportunity left Pappy once on February, what, 28th? No, February 26th, you know what I'm saying, 1988, when those guys on his behalf took out NYPD officer Edward Burns. And what I'm saying, folks, listen, man, don't be a follower, man. You know, if you're going to follow people, follow them behind the right reason. Don't be more loyal and dedicated to people, you know what I'm saying, they cause, they belief system, than you are to yourself, man. Listen, hit the like button, subscribe, share, you know what I'm saying, and get your signed copy of Beyond Lucky, the Brian Clay's gift story, a true story of crack money murder redemption by emailing me, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. If you get your signed copy, I will send you straight from the street, volume one, and straight from the street, volume two for free. Peace, love, and prosperity. One love.